Keir Starmer based his leadership campaign on unity, but since becoming leader has done nothing of the sort. From suspending Jeremy Corbyn to removing his whip, lots of members are rightly angry with the direction the party is going. Is there a revolt? Well, lots of CLPs are passing motions in support of Jeremy Corbyn, which seems to undermine the current leadership. Uh, you can see here from the list we've got, Liverpool Walton, which by the way got the highest Labour vote in the country, Camberwell and Peckham, uh, Edinburgh, Kingston and Suburton, uh, Dulwich and West Norwood, Brent Central, Rushcliffe, Penrith and the Border, Bristol South, Newcastle Central, Bolton, North East, and Islington North, which was Jeremy Corbyn's um, constituency with a unanimous vote in support of Jeremy Corbyn. Bristol West, which is an interesting one, uh, that's where the chair and co-secretary was suspended by the party for just having these discussions about Corbyn's suspension. In a further warning to Keir Starmer's leadership team, Richmond Park, which had been the first CLP in the country to nominate Starmer for leader, also passed a motion in support of Jeremy Corbyn. Jeremy Corbyn was informed last night that the suspension of the whip would last for three months and the Parliamentary Labour Party would be conducting an uh, investigation into a statement. Uh, yeah, there is a revolt happening. Um, look, if he can't get his party together, he, like I said before, he's not going to win a general election. Um, but this is really bad. The, what's, the biggest thing that surprised me of Keir Starmer is that he, is a, he, he was a human rights lawyer, clearly a competent person, and yet, as leader, he has made some really, really poor decisions. Um, so if you took say the EH, EHRRC, for example, um, suspending Jeremy Corbyn uh, was a political inter interference and it should have been a due process. Now, the EHRC report specifically says the leader cannot get involved in a case or in, in individual cases. Within minutes of the, the report dropping, Keir Starmer politically interfered and suspended Jeremy Corbyn. This is a lawyer, and yet he can't seem to understand basic due process. Clearly he can, but it's, it's not due process that he's concerned with, it's probably smashing the left again. He lied to the members just to get to the leadership position. He's already basically dropped his 10 pledges, his 10 um, fairly progressive pledges, even just raising uh, taxes on, on the top 5%. Um, to be honest, most people supported that. It was quite quite a moderate policy. Even Conservatives, they were talking that they were going to maybe tax the rich for that. I mean, economically, the Conservatives are kind of outflanking Labour to the left. I could see Keir Starmer, if he was Prime Minister, going back to austerity. I could see that happening. It's clearly uh, abandoned the progressive policies that were not just popular among the membership, but among the wider public. If you poll the individual policies, they get majority support. Public ownership of the mail, water, uh, railways, majority of people support that. Raising the minimum wage to at least £10 an hour, they're supporting that. Abolishing tuition fees, majority of people support that. Uh, ending cuts and spending on our public services, investment. The last election, Jeremy Corbyn supported free broadband for all. That even has a majority support thinly, but still has majority support. So why would you not support these policies? It will make you look good with the membership. The membership would work with you. Socialists would work with you. Plus the majority of mem the, uh, the public support it. I think there's a lot of anger within the Labour Party. What Keir Starmer does, remains to be seen.